Breathing Techniques Cursed lip breathing, huff cough, and incentive spirometry are all ways to help increase how much air your lungs can hold and improve how you breathe. They can help people learn to better control their breathing. Cursed lip breathing can be used during any activity, such as climbing stairs, bending or lifting, or whenever you feel chest tightness or short of breath. Practice this technique four to five times a day at first so you can get the correct breathing pattern. Step one, relax your neck and shoulder muscles. Step two, breathe in slowly through your nose for two to five counts, keeping your mouth closed. Take a normal breath, not a deep breath. It may help to count to yourself. Step three, pucker or purse your lips like you're about to whistle or blow out a candle. Step four, breathe out slowly and gently through your pursed lips while counting to four. It may help to count to yourself. With regular practice, pursed lip breathing will seem natural to you. Keep in mind, do not force the air out. Always breathe out for longer than you breathe in. Breathe slowly, easily, and relaxed, in and out, until you are in complete control. Huff cough is a gentle way of coughing, which helps to move mucus easier. To save energy and oxygen, you must practice and master a controlled huff cough. By using the huff coughing technique, you can effectively clear the airway of mucus. Step one. To prepare the lungs and airway for the huff coughing technique, you must first get all of the air out of your lungs. Begin by slowing down your breathing. Take a slow, gentle breath in and blow it out slowly for about three to four seconds. Step two, inhale slowly using your diaphragm. You will feel your stomach muscles move out with the breath. This should be a slow, comfortable breath. Try to fill your lungs and feel the stretch in your chest. Step three, after breathing in slowly, hold it for three seconds. This is done to control your breathing and prepare for an effective huff cough. Step four, use your stomach muscles to make a series of three rapid breaths out with the airway open, making a ha, ha, ha sound. Step five, Repeat the huff coughing technique until the mucus has reached the back of your throat, then cough to get it out. <coughs> Keep in mind, you should never huff cough to the point of exhaustion. Perform two or three huff breaths, then rest for five to 10 breaths. Try to do three to five cycles of huff coughing and resting. Cough more naturally when you feel the mucus collected in the back of your throat. Repeat the huffs until you feel you have cleared mucus or you become tired. Incentive spirometry can help you expand your lungs and breathe deeply. Step one, sit up straight. Step two, put the mouthpiece in your mouth and breathe in as deeply as you can. Step three, hold your breath for two to three seconds and breathe out. There should be some resistance. Step four, repeat this five to 10 times. Keep in mind, using the incentive spirometer can cause you to cough. Coughing removes mucus and fluids from the lungs. If you have any questions, please ask your healthcare provider. To learn more, visit choa.org forward slash asthma.